you guys, it's Ruby from Oopy Scraps and today I'm here with a huge haul to share with you all. So I shopped the Studio Calico Black Friday sale. Have never shopped from their site before but definitely have picked up a few things from them here and there in the past and was super excited to grab some fun stuff during this really good deal. So I wanted to take you through everything I got and we'll just see what there is. I just opened the box so I'm really excited to dig into everything that I grabbed. Okay, starting off strong with journaling cards. I really love the way the Studio Calico journaling cards feel. They're really crisp and they use bright white, which I love. So starting off, I got this huge set of just like a rainbow of colors, all different journaling cards. So they're single-sided, but there's, you know, dotted grid. This is really hard to see. Maybe it's like just like really faint dots. And then there's also some solid color dot grids and there's lined ones. So in any story I'm telling, whether it's Project Life or a travel or whatever album, it's always nice to have a spot for journaling and I'm often looking for something I can use. I don't have a lot of cards like this. So maybe a card like this, I could write journaling on it, but it might be a little hard to read or it's just not really meant for journaling. So it's just nondescript journaling cards like so many of them. So that will be good. Then I got two packs of this collection. I don't know if it has a name, but it's just a series of three by four cards. They're pretty, all double-sided, some good journaling spots, good color schemes, like colorful. I think this is um, like Christmas time because this is follow la la la. But I like that it's colorful, especially for Project Life. I don't want to do things that are super muted or just too descriptive in color scheme. I like having a variety of colors to work with and these ones even have gold foil on them which is cool Ugh, i love this like, it's just super i feel like studio calico is very like young and new okay so this is 2021 year in review so obviously like older kit but i can use this side or i can cover this up you know it's not that big of a deal to me that is super cute but yeah um Studio Calico feels very like young and hip and fresh, whereas a lot of other scrapbooking I feel like is a little bit like corny sometimes, which you know, I'm a little corny sometimes, but I like Studio Calico a lot. And I think that, oh geez, everything was like 50% off. And then, then I also got some story kits that were like $5 when they usually are like 30. So I got a ton of stuff because of that, but I didn't have to spend very much money. So I'm just quickly flipping you through all of these, I like there's a difference, but there's like a variety of like phrases, just imagery, journaling spots, the little, what are those called? Um, Nutcrackers with the gold foil. Super cute. So yeah, again, like I said, got two packs of these. There's obviously a lot more three by four cards than four by six, but I do like getting, oh, I really like both sides of this. I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. That's so cute. Um, I do really like getting four by six cards because I do often have like an awkward amount of space left on some of these. This would be cute for telling a story of um, favorite Christmas songs, even like in my December daily. This one is cool too. But yeah, I just think it's fun, you know, it's the best. So, yep, baking. Is this the same thing twice? Okay, same thing but different colors. Good to know. And then a little home one. So, yep, this is the same pack again. And then the last pack, which I think I've taken you guys through in a different haul. So maybe I won't go through the whole thing, but very colorful. Like I think this one's called At The Market. And I already have this one, but I'm obsessed with the color scheme. Super bright and colorful. Some of them are pretty specific, like about farmer's market, which is not as easy to use. I do go to the farmer's market, but not something I necessarily am scrapbooking all the time. I just love the colors of these, especially the four by six cards are so good in this collection. So let me see if I can like fan them out for you guys. Like, oh, I love these. This is so pretty. And then the back sides are also really pretty. So yeah, I actually got three packs of those because I almost used up all of the other ones I already had. So I think I will get a lot of use out of those. Okay, next up in the spirit of December Daily being here, I got a couple things I thought I could use for December Daily. So this is just like a gingham washi tape in green. And then I love this darker green. It has like plastic on it, but darker green with like little asterisk starburst kind of wonky ones. Washi tape, I have a lot of red, I have a lot of green. 
Then I got this, I think this was like a dollar or something, just little stickers with all the numbers. I love having a variety of numbers to work with in my album. And I also got these silk screens. So I did get the Allie Edwards silk screens, but I just thought it was cool to have even more. I think they'll be really fun to use. And I love this like full pattern one that you could totally use at any time. And then let's get festive and some cute Christmas icons. So that was like December-ish things. Okay, I got a few stickers and embellishments that I thought would work really well in Project Life. I like to keep Project Life pretty simple, but I do feel like I get a little bit bored sometimes. So I like having some just generic stickers that I can use and add to my stories. So couple chipboard. I like that their chipboard is really thin, so it's easy to use in something like Project Life. Just some generic easy ones. I love the half circles. And then the same concept, but just a little bit more of a colorful one. Don't know the names of these collections, um, but cute. Couple of super thin alphas that will be easy to use for anything. Not a ton of letters, but they were again like a dollar. And then I got red. I guess this is also kind of for December daily. Red label sticker sheet. And then this kind of colorful, bright, but muted pastels. And then I got these two little ephemera packs. Just a bunch of fun, different shapes that will hopefully be easy to use. I won't go through all of them, but just to get you kind of an idea, you'll definitely be seeing these in Project Life. So, like, there's, like, label type things, but also just fun little, you know, decorative things that I can use. And again, here... Like a little doggy. I think this might be at the market as well. This looks like the at the market collection. But like this little pennant flag will be so fun to just add a little something to keep the Project Life spreads a little more lively. And then I got two packs of these cute little vellum smiley faces. I thought those would be fun to add in like a confetti page or just like stuck right on or stapled on to a spread. So yeah, those are those things. Then I got just a bunch of kits. So their kits are usually like 30-ish dollars or something like that. And they have a variety of different things in them, usually journaling cards and some embellishments. But I was able to get them for $5 each. So I think I got like seven or eight kits, which is crazy. Mostly because I wanted journaling cards. I just don't have very many. And I'm committing to Project Life for the rest of the year and presumably the new year. And I want to have the stuff. So I should be set now. But yeah, this one is like something about back to school, I think. So there's like a stamp. But this is about book review, which again, I like to read books. So I feel like that could be easy to use. This, I think, it's like a pack of little note card things. I don't know. That's kind of weird to me, but I guess I could like use it as a decoration or like a journaling spot. Not super sure about that. Journaling cards, which we'll go through in a second. These are cute labels. They're like, they look like school paper kind of labels, which I mean, I'm not in school, but I still think they're kind of fun and vintagey little chipboard wonky stars obsessed again like this is schoolish with the crayons but I could also use it for like a crafty day or you know back to school I do coach track so I am involved in a school setting and then I also have like my friends and cousins who are in school still chipboard and then numbers I love this color I probably will put this with my December daily because it is green and it's cute for the three by four cards, again, I will quickly flip you through. I love this color purple. But yeah, again, they are school themed, but I still feel like I can get a lot of use out of these in an un school. So like this one's very schooly, but this side is just like paint swatchiness and I can use that for like a crafty day or just a day where I want color. So I think that these will totally still work. And like I read books all the time, so that will still work love the color scheme it's just everything is so crisp clean lines but like it's still playful and fun and i just love the colors they use so i think these will be easy to use um, again mostly three by fours but still a lot of great, like, oh my god, that is so cute. Like, you could even just write, like, Dear Diary or something. I don't know. Ugh, and this is so cute. I'm really excited about these. Like, it makes me really excited to do Project Life. I was having a bit of a Project Life stump because all of my 3 by 4 cards were just, like, cut-up pattern papers or, like, cut-apart sheets. And they just weren't super easy to use for a lot of my 
spreads and at the end of the spread I wasn't really happy with it which did not make me want to keep going so yeah I also got a bunch more kits which I will open up and bring over here for us to look at okay so each of these is a kit just like when we just showed you so total there's eight kits that I got so a lot of stuff and each of them comes with a pack of cards so like just as many three by four cards and four by six cards as I've shown you in each of these kits probably won't go through all of the cards because it's a lot but you'll get an idea of what the kit is like each kit also comes in one of these really nice zipper bags which I will use for storing projects storing like if I'm going and traveling for like storing my stickers or ephemera as I get it on a trip also just like literally toiletries these are super nice or when I'm working on a knitting project if I'm like knitting a beanie I like using these to store them so these are the best so each of these came in one of these I will say for some reason I got two of this kit which appears to be like a July kit I don't know why I would have ordered two but I'm gonna look at my order and figure out how that happened so yeah starting with the July kit I have all the cards again which I'm not gonna go through but you can see like colorful fun summary type things I'm obsessed with that one um and then four by six again same concept colorful beachy you get it there's a little wood veneer painted that says July these are like plastic palm fronds which is fun for like that time of year a beachy stamp set colorful numbers which I love it looks like they're not going to be very good adhesive though because they're like floating around already <laughs> little stickers for journaling this is going to be really hard for you to see but this is an alpha it's just in this color i don't think you can maybe see but it's an alpha like super thin and then a little chipboard again super thin chipboard set which is fun all this is like just going to make project life so easy then we've got this set, which, oops, just dropped a bunch of those. I don't know if this is a certain month. I'm not seeing a month. But these have a bit more of like a bold, bright color scheme, as you can see, but still floral, so maybe like a spring month. Doesn't really say. But yeah. Fun cards. And four by six cards. I don't even know if you could just see what I was doing, if it was off camera or not. And then we've got, these are all like chipboard frames and there's two of each, which is fun. And the center like pops out. That's really cool. Fun to spice things up. A little ephemera pack with just a bunch of different shapes of ephemera. Very similar in concept to those other ones I showed you, just different style. Then we've got, oh, the Sweet Life. I think that's what this collection was called. That name sounds familiar to me. But just this cute little... Uh, stamp set some stickers like label stickers thin alpha again we'll probably put this in my December daily kit some circle stickers and then some butterfly puffies those are gonna be fun for like springtime I don't know why everything has a hole in it are you supposed to like put it somewhere to store it before using it if anyone knows tell me then we got an April kit it's got again a little ephemera pack I think this is like the ups and downs type one like April showers rainbows that kind of a vibe really love this stamp set so it's like a heart filled in heart outline heart and then days of the week in the written in the heart shape oh these are gonna be so fun to use especially for week in the life but also just in general these are so cute my think my favorite stamp set so far this one got super bent which is kind of annoying but chipboard i guess these are labels but why would you put the label black with a white outline those are going to be really hard to use unless you're putting like a tiny word sticker on top maybe i didn't open these so we're just not going to go through them but again set of cards obsessed with both of these so and then ugh, a picture right here would be super cute a uh, fun little like pale blue gingham uh words and puffy stickers fruit food situation then we got this one i'm going in a kind of a confusing order <laughs> again cards these are a little darker so maybe it's like a fall oh august which is not fall at all 
I don't know what I would do with all of these. So I don't have one for every month. And I mean, they're not thick, but they're thicker than normal. So those will be interesting to see if I use them. Um, but yeah, we got all, oh, this is like back to school August. I love this like darker color scheme. It's a little different. So yeah, sorry, this is like probably not that helpful for you guys, but you can get an idea of like the color scheme. Otherwise we'll be here all day looking through cards. And then we got the four by six, which are a little easier to flip through. And oh, all flowers need time to bloom. That is so cute. Yeah, so there's those. Cork, stars, and starbursts. We'll be finding a little staple through those. Um, different stamps, so like good stuff right now, learn, grow, this, that, read, write, and some little icons. Also love a half circle that fits into an oval. That's cute. Definitely gonna be really into stamping is my thing. Cause it's like reusable, so it's a little more eco-friendly, it's a little more cost-effective. And like you could just do so much with stamps. So this is not my favorite color. It's like kind of a neon bright, but deep orange, but labels, chipboard. And this is fun, like a funky colorful alphabet. I think I'll use all these alphas in Project Life, except for the red and the green one, which I put with my December daily, because um they're so flat and they're otherwise not there's not like a ton of letters so i think it'll just be better for that versus like on a huge layout then we got another ephemera pack love the little arrow a lot of arrows i love using arrows just some icons words and journaling spots Then let's make room. Sorry, it's getting a little crazy. Maybe I'll do this. Then we got this one. Again, I'm obsessed with these little brown with the little rainbows. Different um, cards. I feel like we see this one over and over again. But I mean, it's cute. So I guess that's good. More cards on this side. I love that they're double-sided too. Oftentimes, like people are like, oh, it's cool, it's double-sided because you can pick which one you like better. I often will do like, okay, I want to use this good morning star shine. And then on the other page, I'll just use this journaling card and make it work for the next week because that way you're getting like double the bang for your buck because you are paying for them to be double-sided. So you might as well use them. Then four by six cards. Cute. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Pink and orange. It just, they look so good together. Then we got the little march. We got some vellum starbursts. We got just like a generic stamp set. Beautiful, da da da, whatever. These, oh, must be two sheets. These are a little bigger, which is kind of nice. Nice little switch up. So yeah, circles. Those are really cute. These kind of remind me of the Laura Wansick media collection that she did with Allie Edwards. Those circle like pleather badges she made. Tiny words, which is always nice to have. Navy blue, oh, four sheets. Is it four sheets of the same thing? Okay, sorry, my camera died, so I had to stop. Don't exactly know where I left off, but I was talking about these, I think. There is four sheets of these little cardstock alpha stickers which is awesome and navy blue is an easy color to use and then these little camera chipboard cameras again same thing i don't know why there's no holes again so curious about what their thought process is there but these are like cameras that have different places like this looks like it could be in like venice maybe that looks like london there's like an ocean a sky so it might be good for travel and then the last one again we've got cards here it looks like a lot of shapes and like ice cream randomly flowers maybe some springtime hooray i love when they have the gold foil that's such a nice touch but yeah just a bunch of different i can't really flip through them you guys it's super awkward but just a bunch of different this side is so much more colorful and light than this side um cards though lots of cards gotta be set on cards i want to go through and organize them by like type 
it's gonna be a little hard though because some of them are the double sided like doesn't usually like this one I would put in like patterns and this one I would put in journaling but that's okay oh hello spring this must have been from a spring month okay this is so cute so my mom is obsessed with hot air balloons this is definitely from the hot air balloon festival that's in New Mexico that is so cute we'll have to use that on a page with my mom but yes hello and farewell cute cute game night oh my god I'm totally gonna use that we are obsessed with game night over here my boyfriend's obsessed with board games and now I'm super into board games we have a lot of game nights we were supposed to have a game night tonight but it got canceled um and then another chipboard sweets which is fun because I'm obsessed with sweets don't eat donuts that often but that's like a fun little thing you build your own donut but cute this is just a pack of like tags with journaling spots which are gonna be so easy to use obsessed with those I would use a million of those stickers puffies labels circle stickers and a really pretty color scheme of alphabet stickers so yeah that is everything it's a lot of things I feel like I went through it really quickly but it was a lot of stuff actually I just lied this is the last one I didn't go through this one I was saving it because it's December theme which like it's December so I wanted to show it last okay sorry guys um obviously December cards again I will probably keep these in my regular stash but I could presumably use these for December daily oh my gosh silver foil you never see silver foil that's a bummer I like silver foil um but yeah just a bunch of different wintry Ooh, those tickets were cute that is cute um back side of them if I can get it to sort of flip obsessed with the silver foil I feel like we never get silver foil um I just like having the variety and it looks like this card is sort of like that washi tape that I showed at the beginning so we got those we got some full-sized cards very nice I like the touch of pink different shades of red a bit of blue cute again that rainbow they just they recycle that a lot then we got a cute little snowy wintry stamp set I am going to Utah next week and I'm planning on sledding that's all I want to do I haven't sled since I was a kid because I live in California now I grew up north of Chicago so we used to go sledding all the time in the winter haven't gone sledding in years since I was like 13 so definitely gonna go sledding so this is something I would put in my December daily stash I think dark green again I will stick this in December daily a bunch of chipboard or chipboard yeah chipboard um hearts and arrows uh cute green labels cute also chipboard stickers again I love like, that it's like wintry but it's not just red and green and not just dark it's colorful and then the last ephemera pack okay I'm gonna go through this while I talk to you guys that is pretty much it though if there's anything I didn't show in enough depth, like you're like, oh, please flip us through these cards. Let me know. I will link Studio Calico below. A lot of this stuff is still available. If you are interested, um, then you can obviously see on their website some more pictures too. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. I'm super excited about all the stuff I grabbed and excited to use it all. So you'll be seeing more Project Life. I might be pausing Project Life videos that I'm publishing I'll still be recording them because I'm still working on it but I'm posting all of the backlog of my December daily process videos from last year I recorded them last year and voiced over them in the last couple months so I'm posting three videos a week right now which I have pretty much scheduled through December and a few weeks into January depending on how my December daily project goes this year for 2023 I might keep that going just to get all the videos out so if you're seeing this in December it's just because I was excited and decided to post it but Otherwise, I don't know if they'll be posting Project Life right now because I mean, if I'm posting more than three videos a week, it's going to get a little crazy. But if you're like dying to see them, let me know. Otherwise, I will post them in the new year and you guys will see them then when I have less stuff going on and it slows down a little bit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I always love watching hauls. Obviously, I love buying stuff. Who doesn't? Um, but yeah, I will catch you in the next one, which will probably be another December Daily album process. And I can't wait to see you then. Let me know what's going on in your life in the comments below, and otherwise, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys!